sponsored by Wormwood Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today is part three of the three part series of which aircraft in history could have intercepted the SR-71 in a realistic scenario. The scenario, all of the speeds, the altitudes and the distances are set up as per what the real flight at the time in 1984 was set up as. The first video looked at which USSR aircraft 1950 to 1984 could make the intercept. The second video was which USAF aircraft 1950 to 1984 could make the intercept. Intercept. And of course, the third video is which aircraft from the whole world from 1985 onwards are the modern planes capable of making the intercept. Everything else otherwise being equal, let's have a look at today's interceptors. Roughly in date order, starting late 80s, early 90s, we've got an F 14 Bravo. We're starting him at 50% gas. So we can probably go a little bit lower actually. And we've got two times AIM 54A Mark 60 and two AIM 9 Mike Sidewinders. So we're going to try that. We have tried the A model and the A model failed miserably. But we're going to see if the improved engines make any difference. Next, we've got a Block 50 F. 16c at 50 percent gas here's one of the big changes in fact two of the big changes that we bring into the post 1984 aircraft of course is we have modern missiles for the first time we've got fox 3 amrams uh, up to charlie 5 variant at the maximum modern missiles modern seeker heads modern rocket motors and modern avionics to guide them also, we have high off ball sight missiles like the AIM 9X that could come into play if we can get close to it because we struggled with our older Sidewinders, if you remember. Also, possibly most importantly of all, we've got data link for the first time, a proper working Link 16 data link. So the information sent from the SAM network and AWACS and whatnot can be sent through to our cockpit and tell us exactly where that Blackbird is. Remember, the Blackbird is a bit stealthy, but it's not stealthy like an F-22 is stealthy. So the AWACS and the SAMs will still see it OK. Otherwise, it's got the pylon stripped off. So this is the first really modern aircraft after the f-14 bravo that we're looking at today will any of that make a difference remember we did try the f-16a which is basically a version of this but completely stripped of its most of its avionics stripped of its most of its missiles and so on and that failed Next, I don't have very high hopes for this, but we do have an FA-18C Block 20 here. It is carrying, again, two Charlie 5 variant AMRAMs and two AIM-9Xs. Also, these have got helmet-mounted displays, which, you know, every bit will help. Uh, so this is good. Modern again. We've got a Link 16 data, uh, network to send information, so all that's fantastic. Uh, it's just not as kinematically good as an F-16, so I don't expect it to get as close, but we'll see. Next, we move into the super modern aircraft. We've got the Eurofighter Block 1. We've got the SU-35S. We've got the JAS-39C Gripen. And we've got the F-22A Raptor. Now, note, these first three are official module aircraft in the game. They're highly modern, highly detailed, highly realistic. These are what we call mods, freely available. They are not highly detailed. They're not highly realistic. And we'll go over that in a minute. We've got two times AMRAM Charlie 5s again. It's the best we can support on this. And a couple of old 80s Sidewinders. It's the best I can do, unfortunately. 40% gas. Big old flanker SU-35, an interesting loadout of 30% gas, so AP ACM gas, still 7,000 pounds, 7,500 pounds. We've got Archer Ls on the side, Hobbs, and we've got the mighty R-37M, super long range, super high speed, super powerful missile that's going to chase that SR-71 down. The uh, Jazz-39 Gripen here with really super modern long range missile, the Meteor which is going to be interesting. And we've got two Azrams um, acting as our hobs here. And finally, we've got Grinelli's F-22A. It's got a couple of AIM-9Xs and a couple of AIM-9 Charlie 5s. Now, I know you're all getting excited about these mod planes here, but remember that they are not highly modern DZS. Let me give you some examples. Some or all of these in real life use AESA radar, an electronically scanned array radar, which is a very powerful radar compared to these old 1980s, 1990s mechanical radars. In DCS, that's not modelled. So in DCS, these are all using old 1980s mechanical dish radars. Also, 
in real life, all of these guys rely on really high quality data link. In DCS, none of these aircraft have data link. This guy sort of has it a bit, but it's an old 80s at best data link. It's not a proper one like these guys have. These guys here have a proper modern data link. So bear that in mind, they are massively hamstrung. Next, long range missiles that rely on data link like a Gripen. So let's go and have a look at this. It's got a really long range missile called a Meteor, right? I mean, so you can fire it, I don't know, 100, 150 miles. But these missiles can only do these long ranges by firing them on data link. So that means firing them on a target that's seen by another aircraft or a SAM or an AWACS or something. Again, like I said, no data link in these, so I can only fire them based on our actual old 80s mechanical radar, which I can only see 30, maybe 40 miles with. So the most I can fire these at is 30 or 40 miles. They basically become the same as an A120C without data link support. So bear that in mind, they are massively hamstrung. As well as that, uh, this guy here, this guy here would all have helmet mounted displays for their modern hubs. We don't have that in DCS. So just a quick note to let you know what is not modeled in these. There are other things that are not modeled, but those are what I would consider the key factors. Kinematically, you know, how fast they go, they should these should be within 5%. These should be roughly within about 15% in terms of their realism. So, bearing in mind those factors, Simba, what do you think stands a chance of intercepting the SR-71? Uh, I think if we had a good Rio, the 14s would have a chance. But we don't. Uh, the we 16, don't. it's going to be interesting since they changed the radar in the last update. Mm -hmm. The 18 is going to be a struggle because I don't know that it can get the altitude to be effective. And then the Eurofighter, I mean, it's just a... It's got the F-15 radar yep. in it. The Su-30s running off of Older SU-27s, radar. which, you know, that'll be all on the kinematics on what kind of power we get. I don't remember us trying to take mm -hmm. that plane up high. The Gripen, that's the one I'm most interested in because even though it's got the 15 radar, if we can acquire a lock, I would be interested to see how those uh, missiles mm -hmm. do in high altitude. You know what? I'm going to be optimistic. It's the Raptor. It's supposed to do well at all. So let's see. Okay, for me, F-14B would, I reckon it would do it if you had a human rear. That's a, that's a guy in the back doing the radar who's good at his job. Neither of us are good at that. And we have to use the AI Rio to control the radar. And he's terrible at spotting S-71. So probably won't work. F-16 is probably what I think will be the best chance because it's the best modeled here in terms of it's got the kinematics and it's got all of the data link and everything like that. So I reckon that'll probably be the best chance. The second best chance, probably the Hornet. Again, it's got all the stuff in there modeled like real life. However, the F-18 is slow, okay? I don't mean slow, you know, in the scheme of things, but compared to an F-16, it's slow. Eurofighter, unfortunately, it's in-game. It's just a Eurofighter shell with an 80s F-15 radar and no data link, no chance. SU-35, same thing, it's an old 80s flanker radar, no proper data link, probably not. Gripen, I don't know much about the Gripen, it's probably kinematically weak, it's got one F-18 engine in it, and it's in-game got a old 80s F-15 radar in it and no data link, so I don't see how we could possibly do well with it, so I'm going against you for that. And the Raptor, again, Avionics, it's terrible. In DCS, it's got an old 80s mechanical radar, which is crap. It's got no data link. In DCS, I'm saying, which is bad. It's got none of the fancy other tricks and sensors that it has in real life. It's got no thrust vectoring like it does in real life. It does have big, powerful engines like it does in real life. So at least it's got that on its side. But realistically, in DCS, it's nothing like the real one, so I doubt it. So I'm going F-16, maybe F-18. Kasimba Wimba in our F-14 Bravos, late 80s, 1987, I think. First ones were converted. Just gotta remember how to fly it now. I mean, it's an F-14. You just push the throttle forward. It'll set, lead the rest. Set gesture up now because you'll get out of the way. I'm sending my uh, gesture radar yeah, high. Yeah. Also, set your date link up. Don't forget to set your date link up. Okay. I'm going with Overlord. Got it. Right. Set, 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 set. 
select the missile. Okay, that is me up and ready to go. Uh, same rules as always. We've got to wait until the uh, doodly what's it? The SR71 becomes visible to the SAM network. When he can be seen is when we get the word to go. Now in real life, we I know we say this is real. Oh, he's there. Go, go. Come on, little engine. Uh, nose was steering. I can't remember the nose. There is. There is. We got it. We got rudder authority, Simba. Ooh, that was close. Right. Got to remember how to fly Tomcat now. I've done this in a while. I don't use this in missions, valued viewers. I would love to, but it causes a problem with the track files. I just can't get sorted, and so I can't fly. It's very frustrating for me. Right. Remember what vector it was on. It was on. Three, one, five, something like that. Yep. We're Joker. <laughs> We're already running out of fuel. That's so funny. My little Rio is having a bit of a heart attack. He'll be fine. Right. A lot of the people have been complaining about our um, the way we climb, but I, I think we've got it right. I'm going to go fast and level. Get the wings back. Get supersonic, which is now, and now I'm going for my zoom. Other climbs are available, but we are supersonic. I had a chap um, on the other video complain that the sonic booms were too loud. How do you feel about that, uh, Simba? Oh, look at you, you're right there. I mean, if he'd ever heard one in real life. I know, I was thinking that. These are very quiet compared to real sonic booms. They're like little mouse tickles. God, the Bravo model is so fast, Simba. This is so fast. Look at them go. What an interceptor this really was, or is, not was, sorry. Why take it out of service? We're merging. Money, Money sucks, man. What, and it's so powerful. Right, I've got to concentrate what we're doing. Okay, we are uh, 70 miles and looking good, to be honest. Speed is good. Right, can I get anything on data link is the question. Have you seen anything on data link yet? Nothing yet. No, me too. Definitely selected the right guy because you're on my data link and you're not on my radar, so. I'm going for a power climb. I feel confident. You can stay low if you want. I'm going, I feel like I've got so much power with these motors. Forty-five thousand feet. What an interceptor this was, man. Fifty thousand feet. I'm getting yeah, a bit slow. Yeah, you got something. You got something off to the left. Well done. It's fifty miles, fifty miles, and we're looking really good for an intercept. I'm not I'm subsonic, right? I'm going to stop climbing. Right, I don't have anything on data link yet. Don't know why. Probably doing something wrong, but I'm going to ask for a uh, CT. Unable. Can I can't get an SCT, Can you? Not yet. Okay, distance is... You're doing better than me. 30 miles. Prime Phoenix range. Come on, give me it to me. Okay, he's on my radar. He's on my radar. There he is, valued viewers. At nine, 90,000 feet, it says. Going for an STT. I can't do that, boss. Come on, come on. Give him to me. I want him, I want him, I want him. 25 miles, come on. Phoenix says he wants him. Can't do that. Please! I'm about to go pal if this doesn't work. Ah, uh, no I'm going pal. I'm palling, looking for him. Come on, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Come on, we're trying to find ways of getting our radar to pick him up. Nothing is working. Come on! Come on! I'm gonna mad dog. Come on, just fire anything. Oh my god, it locked it up right after I fired at it. All my missiles are out. Oh, nowhere near. Oh, it's too hard, valued viewers. It's so hard. Oh, nothing it about. Locked you up. It doesn't matter. But nothing about the Org 9 is really can really handle this processing that needs done. He's moving too fast, he's moving left to right too quickly. 
He's too high. He's not dead. He's just gone off the radar coverage. Even from this AWAX alert. A missile's got within about 20 miles, but it's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. Radar problems. Radar problems. Right. We're not going to get any better than that. Unless we've got professional Rio, we're not going to do any better than that. Welcome back, valued viewers. We're in F-16Cs, and there's not much to say, really. Um, just get everything set up. This, I think, is our best chance. Kinematically, an extremely capable aircraft. But that means we can get up there quickly and near it. And it's really good de data link session, which means we can put our radar exactly the right elevation and, and azimuth for him to fly by. It's the best window of opportunity, I think, we've got here. In just that's it. Oh, it's, it's there. Go, go, go. Oh, need to flee myself off the runway. Don't worry about that. Bit of a mighty plane, this aircraft, Valley Viewers. Real mighty. A beast of an aircraft. Okay, getting on heading. Alright, I'm going for a zoom climb, supersonic, going for a zoom climb. Try to rudder straightened out. Zoom climb to space. That's what I mean by it's fast, guys. It's fast, 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 fast. Faster than the Tomcat acceleration. Fuel's not so good. I put literally the amount of fuel we need to do the intercept in. Because I've optimized it perfectly, so I doubt we'll be coming back. <laughs> Sometimes, but if you're going to intercept an SR-71, that's the kind of attitude you really need. Oh, different paths we're taking. That's interesting. Sim is very confident. You see it's taking a different angle. Remember, all these angles have been pre-calculated by boffins with slide rules and things like that. Right, how's ye old data link working? He is not there yet. But he will be. Correct. Not seen him yet. He will be. Mac 1.5. Kinematically looking strong, strong, strong. 74 miles, 74 miles. Lovely. Heading towards Mac 2. Mark 1.7 we're heading for now. Where's my Simba? There he is. Oh, he's above me. Look at that. And he's faster than me. You cheeky beggar. Oh, got him on data link. Oh, nice. Nice. Interception is looking good. I am Mac 1.76. No data link. Yes, data link. Right. This is very important, guys. Master caution fuel. Where's the fuel gauge? There. I've got 800 pounds to do this. Ha, ha, ha. Talk about on a friggin' knife edge. 800 pounds. I'm gonna have to climb to save fuel. That's all I can do right now. Mac 1.8. Oh, we can make it back on that fuel. 700 pounds. 600 pounds. I get the feeling I've not put enough fuel in. This thing burns through fuel. I'm too low, I've gotta go higher. Setting up the radar. See, I'm getting higher. That's going to help me save some gas. 28 miles. 400 pounds of fuel. I wonder if I can fire the weapon systems on the EPU. Come on. 300 pounds of fuel. Alright, I got a lot. Fire! 200 pounds of fuel. Come on. We'll get on oh, the wow. radar. The missile went hard right to try and calculate for it. I've lost him. I've lost him. I've lost him. 100 pounds of fuel. You got him! Simba! I don't know how. Did you get him? Yep, I got him. Oh, I told you, I told you. F-16. It's got the power to get up there. It's got the data link and the avionics to get the lock. Whereas nothing else does, it's got a modern missile. F-16C Viper, only plane in the world that can intercept a friggin' SR-71. No, don't get me wrong. I'm certain I can make it back. Go on then. Yeah. Right, you've got to make it back then. I am exactly zero, zero. I've got zero fuel. Right, we're going to make it back now. 
Prepare to see the worst glider in the world. I'll give you F-16. Right, I need to dump my friggin' weapons. And I can't remember how. So, go figure. Can you give me a vector to get back, please? You know what, I'm just gonna fire them. Apologise if they shoot you down. Engines are throttling down. Where's land? Where is land? Tally land. Tally land. We're not making it back. This has a glide ratio of worse than the brick, valid viewers. Turn everything off. Radar off. Everything off. Save fuel. EPU on. Is EPU automa automatic, Simba? It's automatic. Right. Are you fully out? No, I still got like 400 pounds. The engine's gone, valid viewers. We're using something called a hydrazine EPU, which, how does that work? It burns a chemical or something, doesn't it? To, uh, it burns hydrogen fuel, but it only gives you electrical and hydraulic. Roger. No actual power for powering the jet. All right, it's all about maintaining the perfect glide ratio here. Balance and drag, and drag, well, speed and drag, speed and drag. Altitude. Any idea, a light F-16, what our speed should be? So I haven't the I, one thing I know is keep the angle of attack to a minimum, basically. Because this thing is like a brick when the angle of attack goes up. Will the gear come out? Yeah, gear's hydraulic, isn't it? Uh, there is an alternate for air. Bottom left, but I don't believe it is, uh... Mapped in the game. Never but yeah, the gear it. will come down. Okay. That need, would be your alternate I extension. need to save all my amps, valued viewers. It's like Apollo 11 all over again. Is it Apollo 11 or 13? I've forgotten. Uh, lights off. Fire control radar off. Better leave the rad out on. Angle of attack getting too high. Oh, I've still got engine sounds on exterior, even though I've got no engine. Everyone, even certain forums, want to see me do well right now. It's an expensive airframe, this Simba, you know? It costs millions of dollars. You need to go 140 for 50. That off. That off. Powering down. That off. It's already off. That off. De-energize the WCS. We're going MCOM quiet. Save on, save on amps. Wow, oh, you're over there goodness. already. Yeah, it's looking about 250 pounds left. Unbelievable, unbelievable cheating. How long does our EPU go for, by the way? About three to five minutes. Brilliant. Well, even my EPU is not going to get me home. So, prepare to eject. I think. I mean, you do have the runway that's on top of the hill. You're I'm about to come over top of. Obviously, I'm going for that, Simba. Where is that runway, valued viewers? We're about to see a lesson in energy one conservation. Two zero. 120 zero for 14. Thank you. 120. 120? This can't be right. I'm on 030. I think my uh, INS is gone. Do lally. My INS has gone do lally. Wow, luck I'd have to navigate for realsies. Uh, make about a 10 degree right turn. Roger, I think I the see The runway is going to be running right to left on your... visually. I see her, I see her. There's a little bit in the ground. Where there, there it is, I see that little bit in the ground. Easy, look at me gliding. I'm gliding, Simba, I'm gliding. If anything, I'm coming in too hot. Passes, I have a magnetic compass. Where's my E2B, guys? Where's my magnetic compass? can't remember because the HSI is wrong the HSI is wrong it should be it should have been the one that's between your legs Sally but... got it this is one on the right next to the fuel gauge you know what doesn't help ballet viewers massive cloud right in the way Tally runway oh sweet it's about a 2,000 foot runway this is gonna be fun right so I want to balance her keep her about two just above 250 as soon as you get below 250 valued viewers then the uh, the drag builds up and it's just an endless cycle of drag then. I've also got to make my base turn, which will fun not be. And when you drop your gear, you will start losing your speed quick. So well, so I'm gonna do it exactly at the last minute. I'd rather go in fast and just, well, I don't know. Will I have, will I have wheel brakes? Uh, yes. Not a lot of them, but you'll have them for a little while. Look at me, Simba, I'm a Gimli glider. I'm a Gimli glider. Landing on a runway that's too small and I've got no gasoline. Do have plenty of hydrazine though. Don't worry about that ozone layer. Oh, fine. Come on gear, come on gear. Yes, gear coming down. Oh, I actually need to burn some speed off now, which is weird, I know, but... Suck it up. 
Oh, she's handling like a wet sponge. No, the run is too small. Run is too small. Full brakes. I'm bouncing and I'm bopping and I'm bouncing and I'm bopping. I'm not going to make it. Oh, my hydrazine's gone. My hydrazine's gone. I don't even have hydraulic brakes anymore. Mm. Do I have And a there's a cliff. <laughs> don't go off the cliff. I've hit the cliff. Stop, you big bucket. I'm going to turn it into a tree. I can't. I've got no control of anything anymore. No hydraulics. She's going to do what she wants to do. I do not want you to go over that freaking cliff. Anything but the cliff alley, viewers. I think I've done it. Look at that. What were the chances? I could fly back 50 miles with no gas and land, let's say, 60 feet short of a massive cliff and certain death. I give you the F-16C Block 50. What a way to end. Right, um, we've got to still go and try with the other planes because uh, that's kind of what you pay us for. Stand by for Bogachev. We're now in the FA-18C. In terms of avionics capabilities, it's pretty much the same as the F-16. But, all importantly, we just don't have the power and acceleration of the F-16. So, I'm not hopeful. But, one of the things I've learned is, well, you never know. So, let's see what happens. Quick sip of tea, Valley Ooh. There it is. Go. Bar up those tiny little Greta-friendly eco-savers. So why isn't this plane as fast, Valley Jews? It's got more power, more gross power than the F-16. It's because they had to make, well, I mean, actually, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say they had to make it for... Uh, uh, carrier capable, but that's not the full story, obviously. But, it, but it's got bigger, straighter wings, which is a massive part of it in terms of drag. Uh, also, its power to weight ratio, I think, is a little bit lower. But I guess it's mainly drag. Right, super, supersonic. I'm going for my climb. Already, I don't feel as fast. Well, that did look pretty fast. Air to air mode. I've uh, got that on, I've got that on, I've got that on, I've got that on. Again, different routes we're choosing, which is interesting. Simba really likes that short route. I prefer my long route. Because it really depends on which plane you're flying and its capabilities. Still supersonic, even in the climb. Actually, looking quite impressive. Hornet fans out there going, yeah! 30,000 feet, still supersonic. I'm going to keep climbing if it's still supersonic. I have a tendency to go too high too quickly. I'll admit that, Valley viewers. There's Simba in the cons. Distance, 70 miles, 70 miles. Right, let's get the data link up and running, Valley viewers. Uh, I can remember how to do this. Uh, uh, giggity. Right. Uh, yep, he just showed up on data link. Yes, Ali. Right, there we go, Ali Juice. Let's get the radar set up. It's going to be a, probably a 20 mile intercept, so let's get the radar slewed. Radar slewed and ready, sir. Mac 1.5, actually quite impressive. Choose my right weapon then, so. Uh, got that ready, got that ready. Radar's in the right place. 40 miles, I'm not sure about the legs on this thing, Simba. At 1.6, I'm going for my climb now. I think now's the time. Okay, he's on the radars on the FCR. Right. Radar's too high. Okay, attempting an intercept. Watch this, Valley viewers. You can see I've got my uh, radar slew just right. I should be able to see him at some point. Have you managed to get a brick yet? Yes, I I've got it locked. Mine's just gone off data link. Oh, I can't believe it. Yes, is that him? Yes, that's him. Lock. Can't lock. Ah, why am I so crap at this? All right, stop locking. Come on, get the brick. Give me a brick. I can't get the brick. 
Yes, no. Yes, firing. Missiles away. Missiles away. Oh, that was hard work. Right, I gotta support them. I gotta support them. They're away. Still got the lock. Still got the lock. Still got the lock. Going for sidewinders. How do I shoot sidewinders? Firing. Sidewinders and fired. Oh, that was close. They're chasing him. They're chasing him. Go on, Amrams. Dive on his stupid little black face. That sounded wrong and a little bit racist. That's not how it's meant. Get him, get him, get him. They can't catch him. The missiles aren't fast enough, Simba. Oh, the Hornet was almost there, Valley viewers. Look, Mac 3, but the missiles aren't fast enough. The missiles are slower than the dang Blackbird. Blackbird, Mac 3.2, missile Mac 3. Look, they almost got there. We got within two miles. To be fair, that was actually really good. And the Hornet actually really surprised me how good it was. But no, they're getting slower and slower. Wowza! Right. That was close, Simba. The radar was that really was. powerful. This is the ABG-63. That was that was really good. I had him. I locked him much easier than the F-16 radar there. Uh, the data link just gave me absolutely sublime, sublime information to get everything locked up and perfect. I was 10 miles. I fired the missiles, but the missiles just they're not fast enough. We had to be. When you got your kill with the F-16, how close were you? Uh, I actually don't know. It must I have been about five miles. Attention. I was firing about 10, I think, and they just couldn't catch up. They burnt for about Mach 4 for about 10 seconds, and then they went down to Mach 3, at which point they were getting outrun. So, Bogacha, uh, Hornet, really, really close. Just hasn't quite got the legs. How much fuel do we have? Because we just stripped the fuel down anymore. Where's the fuel on this thing? Uh, I've got 12. That's so above your left knee. We could have technically gone 1,000 pounds less fuel, and we might. We've gone 1,000 pounds less fuel. We might have got, you know, a couple miles closer, and it might have been possible. So F-18, maybe, but again, a bit of a suicide mission. Right, uh, I think that'll do Simba, um, because I know we can get back on £1,200 easily. Very close. Next, we're going to go to the super modern mods. Welcome back, valued viewers. Eurofighter shell, F-15 cockpit, F-15 avionics, no data link. Go, go. Whoa, what's that talking about? Oh, she's fast. She's fast, Simba. She looks good. Can't take that away from her. Exploit that SFM. Right, let's get Scooper Sonic. All right, get it set up just in case we do make the intercept. Radar on. She's fast. She is fast. At 1.1. Feels about the same speed as a Hornet to me. I thought it was a lot faster than that. But... Oh, I'm drifting to the... Oh, I have my rudder on. Oh, I'm such a silly billy. I had a, I had a foot of rudder on because I'm an idiot. Wondering why I'm flying like an idiot, Valley viewers. I forgot to set my trim up, so... Difficult to fly with that trim. Uh... Okay, I'm on a more aggressive path this time. 90 miles. We've got time. Mac 1.4. Where's Simba Wimba? I'm conning. Mac 1.6. So as we don't have our avionics, we've got to rely on kinematic Simba. Which interesting will be. Okay, 40,000 feet. Mac 1.6 still. 60 miles. Right, we start setting my radar up. We start selected. Yep. 45,000 feet, Mach 1.7. Wow, that's fast. That's faster than an F-16. Is it this good in real life? Possibly. Possibly. It's a dang good plane, it I know is, that. It is a delta wing. Zoom climb to space. 50,000 feet. I'm liking this intercept, Simba Wimba. Mach 1.7, and I'm up in the stars. 19 miles. The problem is I got no avionics. I don't know where he is. Where is he? Absolutely no bloody way of knowing. So fast, this plane. I am merging with him. I am an emerge, Simba. You've got a missile out. I don't know how you did it. I'm just, I'm just pit bull. Oh, God, I ran out of fuel. Firing. Oh, 
Ah. Oh. God, look at look how close we got, valued viewers. Look how close we ran out of fuel at the last second. Now, if we had, I mean, even if we had the fuel to do that, uh, I, s I still don't see how we would have got them on radar. So, I don't know, close one that. Really kinematic, really powerful. But, just not quite right. Very close, very close. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. The flanker E. Welcome, Valley Viewers. Very capable, modern Russian aircraft. Now, it does actually have a, it does ha it has a type of data link in this, but it's an old nasty 80s type data link you can't you know you can't use it like you can in the f-16 so i'm not expecting very much but plane looks very sexy it helps i think we've got improved engines over the flanker as well so i think we'll be going faster i think than a flanker not that i'm saying much because the flanker's not actually that fast you think optical will work better than radar yeah i think we have a thing on our nose called an irst valued viewers see that thing there Big bobbly bit that allows us to search with optical. Generally speaking, in funny intercepts like this, I mean, I think that was actually designed originally for the Blackbird. I think on the MiG thirty one, the IRST, the EO system. I think. Oh, it's there. Go. So it's going to be a per whoa, it's going to be a perfect opportunity where radar lock is hard for various reasons. I'm guessing our flaps are up. Right, let's get everything on, radar on. Uh, you put radar on anyway, but I'm going EO. Remember, yeah, you can go, yeah. remember you can slew EO left and right as well. Now, these are powerful engines, Valley Viewers, very powerful engines, but a bit like the Hornet, big wings, big wingspan, lots of drag. So not as fast as uh, an F-16, for instance, in acceleration turns. I don't think it is, anyway. 25,000 features, doing good so far, Simba Wimber. 30,000. Intercept's looking good. It's going to be centre-based, I think. It was a little slower than the uh, Eurofighter. Okay, that's 3,000 pounds of fuel. And these engines burn a lot. I, I do not see... No idea how fast I'm going. 37 mics ready to fire. 60 miles. Oh, we're looking good, Simba. We're looking pretty good, you know. 50,000 feet. Wow, what a beast. Nope. Got him on uh, that link. Yep. He's coming through the engine gauges. Yep, see him. I see him. I see a thing. That's him, Valley Viewers. Oh, I can't see, but that's him right there. That's us. But now we've got to find him. 40 miles. 60,000 feet. He's only 25,000 above. My engines are starting to struggle up here. Fuel, 500. Uh, only a thousand pounds of fuel left. Right, do not want to run out of fuel. Wow, these have done amazingly well. Much better than I thought they would ever do. Which is fair play. I don't really know a lot about the SU-35. I've gone too fast, and I've actually gone too far. i to do some sort of weird merging path. Intercepts are hard, Valley Dewars. They are hard. There's a missile. Okay, you're intercepting him head on, look. Oh, come on, Simba, seven miles. I'm going for the long game. 62,000 feet. I can't watch it all. Simba's missed him. Simba's missed him. It's all up to me. Right, okay. He's on a vector of... This is going to be amazing. He's going to come by so fast. He's coming over my head now. Looking. Looking. There he is. Vigil. Vigil. He's there. Oh, it's so hard to fight! Freaking formation with him! Where is he? He's right there! 
Alright, calm down. Just chill. Just chill. Look for his engines. Don't do anything weird. Got him. Firing. Missile went fire. Fired. Missiles away. Oh my god. Oh, they're firing and they're guiding. They're guiding. Go, big R37M. Shoot her. Shoot her. <laughs> oh, tiny little archer struggling for power. Push. Push, archer. Push. Come on, he's guiding. I can see you guiding. They're all guiding. Oh, these guys have got too fast. Oh, they've got 4,000 knots. They've overshot the target. Why? Oh. And the archers have run out of power. We got within five miles. The missiles are in five miles. Oh, so and I was merged. I was literally right merged, but I couldn't see him with my eyes. I, I, he was so dark against the sky, I couldn't see him. Oh, definitely possible. Simply because of the fact that I got in formation with him. But again, not easy thing to do. These these, these mod planes are doing a lot better than I thought they would, if I'm honest. Welcome to the uh, Jazz 39C Grip, a lovely plane, very capable, but kinematically just not quite there, I don't think. Amazed how good kinematically that Eurofighter and that SU-35 were. That was pretty much drivers. The problem with that Sukhoi was it had everything there it needed. It just, we, it, we, even our little data link worked, we just needed more driver skill, I think. So I was merged on top of him, it should have been a kill, but... One problem I've got is that for the little missiles that were guided properly, he's faster than my missile can go. You know, it's a Mach 2 something missile, that archer, and he's going Mach 3.2. Problematic. He's faster than my freaking gun bullets. Anyway, I need to concentrate. Right, ready, Simba? Can you see him? Because I can't. Yeah, I'm here. There he is. Off you go. Go, little breathing, go. Whoa! That's not how you do it, Simba! That is not how you do it! You want another go, Simba? Come on, Simba! Okay, little Greepin. Time to shine, sir. Uh, this one's gonna be all you. For some reason, it is not recognizing my stick. All right, fine. I'm going for the meteor. Meteor selected, baby. If I can get a lock, we're in for business. Can't get supersonic. Why can't I get supersonic? Have I done something wrong? Control my plane. Can't get supersonic. Finally, supersonic. I think it might be a bit too late. Do you show meteors on your HUD? A HUD doesn't fill my HUD, it's kind of annoying. Okay. I've got in a nice power band here, I'm supersonic and climbing. Boom. Okay, 30,000 feet. The vector is finally okay. Okay, speed is going up. Supposed to be a 1.8 Mark fighter. Boomy woomy. Mark 1.6. Going for 40,000 feet. This is really surprising. I mean, again, these aren't particularly realistic, these mods, you know, they're plus or minus 15, maybe even 20%, but this is really surprising me how good this is so far. 40,000 feet, Mach 1.7, wowza, wowza. Can't be this fast. 35 miles. Gotta make sure I've got my control set up. Target lock. Interceptor's on, baby. Looking for him. 50,000 feet. Mach 1.7. Man, this is horrendously fast. On the nose. 15 miles. He's there. Got him. Locking. Oh, I just ran out of fuel. God damn it, these fuel settings. I just ran out of fuel. And I've lost him anyway. Ah! Uh, have I run out of fuel? Nope, found him again. I haven't run Shoot. out of fuel. Firing! Shoot. Firing! Missiles away! Meteors away and tracking! Meteors away and freaking tracking! Meteor! To space! 
That's gonna be a good one to have to catch up from behind. They're not actually that fast. Though they're far, they go far because they've got sustainers on them. They're not actually kinematically impressive missiles. They're just long range. And we're seeing that now. They're not fast missiles. And we need hypersonic friggin' missiles. They can't catch him. They'll go forever because they've got ram jester sustainers on, but look. But they could not get fast enough. And they're having to bend too much. They're not as fast. Look at this. This is a fast missile. That's a Mac God knows what missile. Very fast one. This, not so much. Nah. They're not going to do it, look. They're going to half the speed now. Wow, now that was really interesting. And here again, we see a weak point in terms of this of a modern long range missile with a sustainer, like a Meteor, like an Amram D, or something like that. They're not actually particularly fast missiles. They're normal Mac, uh, but they just sustain for ages on a ramjet. Now, that's great for shooting down a guy on Datalink at 100 miles away, not so much for chasing SR 71. So, that was it. Uh, Gripen, no. And I even ran out of fuel, so. I could not tune that any better. Last one, the big boy, the Raptor. We've got the F-22 Raptor. I don't need to big this up. Everyone knows it's a super cool jet, not just avionics-wise in real life, but also very powerful in real life. And I'm hoping that's going to pay dividends here. We're using uh, Amram Charlie 5s here, which for the reasons we've said all throughout is going to be as good as an Amram D. It's going to be as good as a Meteor for the type of mission that we're doing here. So it really is all about playing. Here, go. <laughs> Okay, Raptor, just you and me. And Simba, I suppose. Airborne. No idea if it has flaps or not. Absolutely no idea. So I'm going to assume no. Let's see how fast you really are. Feels big, heavy and sluggish, but... Let's give it a chance. Everything set up while I can. Okay, Mac 1.1, that's about as fast as I'm getting it down here. I'm going up. Mac 1.1, I think I've got it up. Raptor is almost certainly going to be optimized for high altitude flying, I find, so this it should start improving its uh, capabilities. The harder. Oh, I had some rudder on. God damn it, cat. Seventy miles, seventy miles. Go on, big raptor. Forty thousand feet, Mac one point five. Fifty miles, fifty miles. And now we wait. Power's coming into its own Mac one point six. Thirty five miles, get ready. Mac one point seven. Fifty thousand feet. Come on, big raptor. It's looking good. She's a fast gal. I'm slowing down now, so I'm going to put my nose down. On speed, speed, speed. I'm at 55,000 feet. Okay, she's going to cross in front of our radar very shortly at a distance of... We're going to be 10 miles. Got it. Locking. Fire. Fire. Missiles away. Guiding. Wow, raptor. Look at them go. Look at them go. I've got the best shot I possibly could get. I'm tracking. I'm intercepting. Everything worked just perfectly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're going to hit. They're going to hit. They're going to hit, Simba. There he is. There's Blackbird. Oh, oh. It missed. Are you kidding? They, they, they went smart. Words. Words fail me. It went within 20 feet of it. Yours are going to hit as well. They're going to hit Simba. Where is he? There he is. There she is. Oh! Oh, are you kidding me? Why didn't they hit? That's so... Another one. Another one. I just flew straight by it. Blackbird! Wowee! They didn't fuse valued viewers, so the Raptor got there, to be honest, with ease, which is cool. And look, there's one flying in formation with it, but they didn't fuse. And I actually don't know why that is. Why didn't they fuse? I mean, that was an intercept. I think that could be called an intercept. The 
proximity fuses just didn't go off, Simba. Weird. Look at it flying formation with it. It's so cool. I mean, how often do you see something like that? You escape this time, Blackbird. You escape this time. Sonic Boom finally reaches us. Things happen really weird at these altitudes and speeds. Okay, Valley viewers, let's, uh, let's recap on what happened today. Okay, and the conclusion for the 1985 and above. Tomcat, well modelled in DCS. Uh, he just can't really do it. It's right on the knife edge. Maybe if you had a really good rad radar offset in the back, maybe we can get a Phoenix off. Is the Phoenix fast enough? It's a Mach 4 missile, I think, at peak. I'm really not sure, but we certainly, we certainly can't get it working. F-16, yes, with ease. We did it. With the data link, with the AMRAM, with everything like that. We did it. Uh, I had to glide back to base because I had no fuel. That's how finally we had to tune these things to get it up there. But it worked. Hornet was my surprise for the day. Well modelled in you know in every way, and it all it didn't get a kill, did it? The Hornet, but I had missiles that were just a few miles chasing it. So I reckon maybe if we tuned it just a, a thousand pounds more fuel off, it might have hit it. It might have hit it. Uh, to the mods, the Eurofighter had the kinematics. It's got a crazy power to weight ratio and, and everything like that in real life. Delta, uh, we just couldn't score the kill. Can you remember why we couldn't score the kill, Simba? We just couldn't find it. I can't remember. Yep, the we just couldn't get it on the radar. All right, yeah, fine. The SU-35 did really well. I was flying in formation with the SR-71 with the SU-35. That's, to be honest, probably stupidly unrealistic to have a plane up there at 90,000 feet, let's face it. But again, these are mods taken with a pinch of salt. And I, it was just pilot skill at the end of the day that was lacking there. With the right pilot, I reckon you can shoot that down with an SR, of an SU-35 mod. Griepen? Again, a real surprise. It went miles faster than I thought it would. Realistic, question mark, don't know. But not far enough, right? Did we get missiles off with the Gripen? I think I got missiles. Uh, yeah, I did. You, you I did. did. It, as I ran out of fuel. Missile just wasn't fast enough. Yeah. Again, that's how finally I tuned it. So I was just running out of fuel as I shot the Amram. And the Amram, yeah, that's the Amram chased. But it would never got close in about four miles, I think. So Gripen, close, but no. And the Mighty Raptor, weird. It intercepted... It, with ease to be honest again power to weight ratio right up there uh, 1.3 or something pound per pound and the avionics all worked we got it locked and the missiles hit it but didn't fuse remember amrams don't actually hit planes they fly beside them then blow up and that happened but for some reason the proximity fuses didn't fire why it's probably something to do with the speeds that were involved the missile was probably mach 4 the blackbird was mach 3.2 it's very possible it's out of the envelope in that particular shot of what that missile can do, at least in game. Real life, I don't know. You know, no idea. So unfortunately, the Amram C5 just wasn't good enough in that case. It's weird how it worked with the F-16, but not with the Raptor. However, that was probably due to how we fired it. You know, maybe it wasn't going as fast. Maybe it was more of a head-on shot. Don't know. There's something in there, the way it's modelled. So, really interesting. Um, not the way I thought it was going to go at all, to be honest. Apart from the F-16, which, which was... Uh, so I'm happily surprised. Really good series. I hope you've all enjoyed that, Valley viewers, and I hope we've all learned a lot, including myself and Simba. Anything to add, Mr. Zimba Wimba? Nope. Good fun, and uh, viewers go out and try to replicate it and show us wrong. Exactly, and bring on the XB70. Bye-bye.